what's up? It's 11.15 of day one of um, Fat Bear Week 2024, so I'm gonna have to speed run the first video, maybe a little bit chaotic, but we'll get through it. Um, anyways, so I wanted to just do a little bit of an introduction as always um, for those who are new to the Fat Bear Week thing. Um, basically in Alaska there is a park called Katmai National Park and every year the Katmai Conservancy creates a little tournament in which they take before and after pictures, you know, in the spring and then in the fall of some of the bears in their park and then they end up, uh, they post the pictures online and then people vote on who is the fattest bear. And it's a, it's a week-long event and this year is their 10th year anniversary, which is really, really exciting. Um, but before we get started, one, I want to assert my credentials as a bear expert in obesity, so a bear expert in bear obesity. Um, I have experience doing this. I have various techniques to determine who's the fatter bear. I have this big, um, like, Excel sheet where I have written down every single result of every single year and all of the bears that have ever competed ever. And um, there are some, you know, regulars that come back over and over again. Um, 435 Holly is not competing this year, unfortunately. Maybe she's a mom again, I have no idea, but she has not been um, included this year. And more tragically, unfortunately, um, something that's been noted is that 480 Otis has been um, showing up later and later to his usual fishing spot over the last couple of years and this year they didn't see him at all and so it's really you know Katmai National Park is very very big and so it's really unclear as to whether he just found a new spot or if he died you know they're probably never gonna know what really happened to him but given the fact that he's roughly 28 and you know he's, he's pushing it when it comes to the bear age um it's entirely possible that 40 Otis died, unfortunately. Um, and so I just wanted to, us to have a little moment for Otis. Um, 40 Otis, you know, the first winner um, of Fat Bear Week. He won in 2014, uh, 2016, and 2017, as well as 2021. You know, he is a veteran. Hopefully he'll be back next year, but there's a really good chance that unfortunately last year was his last year and He is on to greater things So let's just have a moment for Otis, okay? Another tragedy this year is that they do not have the fun blurbs that I love reading. <laughs> On the polls, they had these little blurbs and they were really fun and really creative and I really love reading them, but unfortunately, I think they got rid of them this year, so that's very sad. Um, instead, they have these little fun facts, which is really useful for me. Oh, and before we start, I also wanted to say um, that I run the Fat Bear Week Tumblr account. Um, I'm not affiliated with the park at all. I just thought it would be fun to use Tumblr's poll feature last year to um, see what Tumblr thinks about the bears. And so if you want to go follow that, you can see what Tumblr um, has to say about the uh, has to say about the bears. And um, yeah, so I run that and I will be including those results in the video just because I think it's interesting to see the difference in the, myself, the public, and Tumblr and see if they're aligned at all. Um, so first up we have 909 Junior. Um, it should be noted that 909 Junior used to be called um, 909's Yearling. There's some like family drama going on with 909 Junior. Um, basically she is there's 909 and 910, and these two are sisters. Now, 909 
gave birth to 909 Jr. and 910 adopted her. So, you know, usually bears are on their own after a while, obviously, but she got an extra, like, year or two of getting to be a cub. Uh, and in 2022, she was eliminated in round one. So I'm curious to see how we're going to do here. But before we do that, we're going to read her little fact sheet. Um, this is a large-bodied, nearly four-year female cub. She has evenly colored brown fur and wide-set ears. She gained extra years of care after being adopted by her aunt. She grew large for her age, winning the 2022 and 2024 Fat Bear Junior competition. The other one that we have in the lineup today is 519. She is nearly a three-year-old sub-adult bear with grizzled brown fur, tall upright ears, and lanky legs. After an unexpe unexpected separation from her mother in July of 2024, 519 had to adapt quickly to life on her own, navigating the challenges of being a young bear without maternal guidance. She scavenged for salmon and foraged for vegetation, adjusting her behavior to survive as a young sub-adult. So this is really interesting. We have someone who's been babied um, up against someone who's had to fight for it. And I gotta say, looking at the two of them, um, I honestly think that, you know, as much as 519, like, is doing her best out here, you know, she's, she's doing really, really well. I think it's impressive that she is able to do this by herself. I do think that 909 having, you know, that extra maternal care, um, I think it gave her the edge, unfortunately. And so I'm going to give this one to 909 Junior. As for the Tumblr results, we can very clearly see, um, for poll one, absolute slam dunk 909 junior over uh, 519 very very obvious this young adult male has dark claws with light brown tips his fur is light to dark brown and is especially grizzled on his neck and face bear 903 suspected offspring of 128 grazer is making his debut in the fat bear week tournament this summer, 903 has become a notable presence at Brook Falls, using his increasing size to compete effectively for fishing space. His blend of opportunism and skill showcases his ability to thrive in a competitive environment. And then the blurb for 909 is, This adult, adult female has light to medium brown fur and very blonde ears. Bear 909, daughter of the 2018 Fat Bear Week champion Bean Nose, exemplifies a multi-generational legacy at Brooks River. This summer, as a lone female, 909 enjoyed increased independence while demonstrating a strong worth ethic in fishing. Her focus and commitment are evident in her impressive size. So we have um, some really great competitors. I think that these two are going to be, these two are a really great match, I'd say, in terms of, um, you know, having something to compare them. Um, but when it comes to to looking at them. I'm not a fan of 909's picture, by the way. Again, with these water, this water nonsense. I hate it when they put them in water because you can't fully, this is not too bad. They're, it's like, this is ankle height. But you know, when, when you put them really, really deep water, that's when I start to get upset. So we're okay here, but you know, cat me. Don't play with my heart like this, okay? I'm gonna say between the two, that it's pretty evident that 903 Gully is bigger. Um, like, you can just see, it's not even like, I, f I feel like when they're darker, it can kind of give the illusion of them being bigger. But when you look at just like his overall girth, I feel like he just looks more like solid he just looks rounder from this angle um you know compared to 909 who looks a little bit flatter you can see it in like the patterns of the fur do that so as you can see it was definitely a closer t a closer call between 903 and 909 compared to the first the second matchup is obviously closer than than the first matchup and on tumblr for the second poll uh 903 gully uh, just edged out 909, uh, very similar to the official results. So, so far, 
everyone is in agreement, and I'm very excited to see if we will disagree at any point during the competition this year. So yeah, now in terms of the actual results, uh, 903 Gully and 909 Junior are going to be advancing. So congratulations to both. 519, don't get discouraged. It's your first year here. Competition's tough. You're on your own. You know, I really, really wish her the best. I hope that she can comes back even stronger next year, even fatter next year. And then when it comes to 909, you know, you still have got your daughter who are gonna hope, maybe maybe bring home the bacon this year, I don't know. Um, or the berries, I guess. Or the salmon, bring home the salmon. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I hope that 909 and 519 have a great hibernation. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So that's Fat Bear Week 1, day one. Um, Fat Bear Week 2024, day one, there we go. Yeah, we're a little discombobulated today. Um, had a lot of stuff going on, so yeah, I'm a little busy. So head over to Katmai National Park. Um, you know, check out their Instagram page. Check out my Tumblr. Um, if you have a Tumblr account, go follow it. Vote on the bears because it'd be fun to see like what, again, the correlation, um, or like see if the trends on Tumblr are reflected on the trends of the website, like the main actual website. 2024 is off to a very strong start. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, also, I just want to say, P.S. I'm really, I've been really lazy on my channel lately, and I'm kind of glad that Fat Bear Week came along, and also that Inktober is going to be coming up at the end of the month because it forces me to make videos. <laughs> I should do more timed things so I'm forced to make videos. At this point, I'm in too deep. Like, I can't, I can't abandon Fat Bear Week this year just because I'm busy. And so now it's like, okay, if I'm able to make, do Fat Bear Week, I should be able to be able to, they should be able to do my other videos. So, oops. But anyways, you've been blessed by my presence. So, peace. <laughs>